Hey guys, so today I wanted to talk about the Jean Bonnet Ramsey case. And it's coming on to the 20, let's see, 26, 96, or 36. No, 26 years since she was murdered. So it's uh, 1996, and it's 2022. So... Yeah, 26 years since Jean Bonnet was murdered, and it was around the Christmas season. So it has me thinking about a theory I haven't talked about like in detail, and that is the Santa Claus theory. Now, just from what I remember, I remember early on hearing that a card, a Christmas card was found in the trash can by Jean Bonnet's mother. And it said, See you at Christmas. Love Santa Claus. And then we find out that there was like a familiar family friend who would play Santa Claus at gatherings, Christmas gatherings. Now, I'm not going to say his name. I just don't like to put people's names out there if they're innocent, but he has since passed away. So the theory is that there was a Christmas party where this guy played Santa. And from afar, he admired Jean Bonnet and thought she was beautiful. And while she was visiting with him, you know, on his lap while they are telling Santa what they want for Christmas, she mentions, you know, what she wants for Christmas. And he says, I'll visit you at Christmas. And it started out as what he tells all the kids, but she got excited and was like, really? Like, you're really going to be there at Christmas? And that put, like, something in his head that he wanted to actually be at her house at Christmas. And so because he talked to her, Weeks before Christmas, he had a lot of time to think about how he was going to do this. And so he knew the family was going to go to a Christmas party that night. So he entered the home through, it could be the window that they always talk about. It could be an unlocked door. And another theory is that the parents actually let him in so that she could experience that Santa was real and him putting presents under the tree. So while the Ramses are away at the Christmas party is when he writes the ransom note. And so they all come home and Jean Bonnet's put to bed. So that part of the story is true, like the, the parents say. And then sometime in the middle of the night, Jean Bonnet sneaks out of her room and goes downstairs. And it's because Santa is supposed to be meeting her there. And then he does whatever it is that he did to her. And we all have heard of what happened. And then he leaves. 
So then the brother wakes up, goes downstairs, and does the whole pineapple thing because he sees, like, what's left of her pineapples on the kitchen table and eats the rest of the pineapples because we do know Jean Benet ate pineapples that night. And maybe it's that Santa Claus made her pineapples. Could be. So now, apparently, Santa was questioned. And he was ruled out. They say his DNA did not match. But, I've heard the DNA they have is... Um, like transfer DNA. It's not like actual DNA. It's touch DNA. And they believe it's from the person who worked in the factory that packaged Jean Benet's underwear. That's what I've heard. I've heard there's not any real DNA. So apparently. When looking into the Santa Claus, I found out that he portrayed Santa Claus at the Ramsey home before. And that he had written a play with his wife. And the plot was similar to Jean Benet's murder. So, not only did they write a book, but they also said that their daughter was abducted on the day after Christmas in 1974 and witnessed her friend being molested. So, in the book they wrote, it's about a girl being abducted and murdered and found in a basement. I just find this very strange. Like, first of all, that a husband and wife would be on the same page and they want to both write a book about such, you know, such a topic that I would think one of them would be like, I don't want to write about this, you know. Like, I like true crime, but I don't even like hearing or talking about details of a murder. I'm more into, like, trying to solve the murder. I don't like the gruesome details, but apparently this couple liked the gruesome details. Their book got negative reviews, um, so wasn't a very good book but they wrote the book like in 78 and so it was four years after their daughter was abducted their daughter was abducted on the 26th of December and Jean Benet dies on the 25th so all this is so strange to me I feel like How can it be a coincidence that his book parallels Jean Benet's story? So what else is strange is in retirement, he moved to Cape Cod. And I find it interesting that people will move, you know, a lot of murderers move like how Ted Bundy moved a lot of um, parents murder their kids they seem to move out of that city and it's especially weird when the kid is missing and the parent like moves far away because you think you'd want to be around that city to see if your kid is being raised by someone else But this guy that played Santa, apparently, he moved to Cape Cod because he enjoyed playing Santa and it was all tarnished 
when Jean Benet passed away and people speculated that he did it. But, you know, thankfully I've never been accused of something like that. But you kind of think if you're innocent, you would just like stand your ground and be like, you know, I didn't do this. And just live your life. Like, who cares what people think? But it bothered him so much, he moved to Cape Cod. And then apparently, Jean Bonnet had given him a vial of gold glitter when she was talking to him. And he want, he wanted, I mean, I don't know if his wife did it, but when he died, he wanted to be cremated. He wanted his ashes to be mixed with the gold glitter and scattered. So, it has me like, what? Like, this is even weird, too. And even if you're going to do that, is it really a good idea to tell everybody that you're going to do that? Because it is weird. It's a little weird. Um... He said he had a special connection with Jean Benet. And the card actually read that he had a special gift for her after Christmas. So if I was the cops, I would be asking him, what was that special gift? You know, it's just confusing to me. I kind of could believe this theory, but in a different way. My way of believing this theory would be if Jean Benet's parents set up the meeting and they asked him to show up at midnight. Because then the parents would have a reason to get involved because I think the mother wrote the ransom note. So she might have wrote the ransom note because it was her idea to bring this guy into her house She didn't expect that he would do that to her daughter. So that's the only way I can believe this theory. Other than that, I think maybe it's just a theory. But I just wanted to go over this theory with you guys. And I'll see you in the next one. Trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey As you fade away As you fade away